Sometimes we're not sure if our hardware is going to be up to handling a Zoom meeting. Will that Zoom meeting cause our computer to have jitters or have problems with sound and, and video, things like that? So I'm going to show you how to check to see if your computer is capable of handling a Zoom meeting. So first off, I got to this point because I've already installed Zoom because I've been in previous meetings. So if you haven't, just go to zoom.com and go ahead and download it. Now, uh, if you right click and choose search and type in Zoom, then you'll go ahead and be able to launch the application. Once the application shows up, you'll see it exactly like you do here. And in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click on the settings button. Now, the next thing I want to do is go to where it says statistics all the way down the page. And we're going to take a look at some interesting information about your computer. So for instance, my CPU is 2.8 gigahertz. It has four cores on it. Right now, Zoom is using 0% of that. So it's really not using much of my CPU at all. If you are having problems with your computer running really slowly when you're running Zoom, you might see this at 50 or 75 or even 100%. Now, if you look at the overall, this means all the different applications that are on my computer. Altogether, they're only using 22% of my CPU. So my CPU is definitely not a bottleneck. It's not causing any type of performance issues in my computer. If you see either Zoom or overall running at anything above 80%, then you know your CPU is not up to uh, what it needs in order to run a Zoom meeting properly. On the right hand side we see memory. This is RAM. So I have 16 gigabytes of RAM total in my computer and overall we can see I'm using about half that. Zoom is only using 110 megabytes. So Zoom is not causing any problems with RAM in my computer. If we go down to the box below, we can see bandwidth, network type, proxy, all this other type of information that'll show up when we launch a Zoom meeting. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to launch a meeting and we're going to look and see if anything majorly changes. There we go. Choose that. Okay, our, our audio is muted on the meeting, but that's fine. Let's see if anything majorly changes on our computer. So we can see that Zoom is now using 13, 18%, overall 49% of the CPU. Uh, and so we're still fine. It's really not taxing my computer that much. I'm not using that much in the way of bandwidth. I've got a wired network. So if you have wireless and you're getting jitters in your, your picture or your audio cuts in and out, it could be because you need to be wired because your wireless may not be up to it. All right, so now let's take a look at audio. So I click on audio. And I've got it muted right now, so I'll uncheck that. And here we see the audio. Now we can see the frequency, latency, 13 milliseconds, jitter, 4 milliseconds. So it's really not showing any kinds of problems. If you're seeing in the hundreds or thousands of milliseconds, then you know you've got an issue. Now I'm going to go off to video, and we can see the latency is 14 milliseconds, which once again, uh, that's very low. Jitter is only 1 millisecond, so this is actually running very well. Uh, when it comes to the latency and the video overall quality. I'm also broadcasting at 26 frames per second, which is it's going up and down a little bit, uh, which is very close to 30 frames per second, which is optimal. And under screen sharing, I'm not using screen sharing yet, so I'll go ahead and share my screen. And now we're seeing my resolution is uh, full 1080. My frames per second is dropped to three or four frames per second, but that's fine for sharing. It doesn't need to be the same high quality as uh, the video of you is. So then we've got uh, jitter and latency are also still very low. So if you're seeing high uh, amounts of latency or jitter, it could once again be your wireless. It also could be that your internet is not fast enough. You may need to get it upgraded. So that's how you can tell if your hardware is ready to go for a Zoom meeting and how to tell if you're running into any issues that could cause problems with your meetings.